everyone my name's Angela and welcome to this video right today I'm going to do something a little bit different I'm actually talking about how to pack for a holiday um, into a warm country like um, the Canary Islands or Mallorca anywhere like that for like a week's holiday because this is what I'm basing it on um, I'll go back a little bit of a background um, I used to be a big overpacker I used to pack so much to the point where you'd have a bikini for every day different nail varnish and lipsticks for every day perhaps two or three outfits for that day um, and it was just madness and so I am so pleased for people that have watched on YouTube or blogs that I've read and things that I've listened to over social media taught me how to reduce my packing because I, I thought I needed the kitchen sink when I went away. Um, it's just not the case. You just don't need it all. So basically, this one specifically is for a hotel stay. I stayed in a hotel for a week, half board, and it was a very nice hotel. And it was in Gran Canaria. I normally do Airbnb and self-catering. So this was a little bit different for us as well. But I want to show you how... It's not all just about the backpacking, but it's about going away with a case as big as this. And that's all I had. And it's the standard size for the airlines to go into hand luggage. So all the measurements are done and I use this all the time. I've got two of them um, that I use all the time and this is one of them. And this is what I take, this and this only. And I'll show you how to pack for a week. Possibly you could even squeeze 10 days or even a fortnight. It all depends whether you want to keep washing your clothes out. But you could just pack for a summer holiday. And this is mainly a summer holiday that I took to Grand Canaria. So let me show you. I will show you other packing ones in the future. Right, okay. So I've lined my clothes up here that I took. And I do like a capsule wardrobe. I don't really have a capsule wardrobe at home because to be honest with you, I do like lots and lots of colours. I um, love colours. But when I go on holiday, I sort of have a bit of a mix and match, match wardrobe and I try and keep on the lines of the same colour theme. I will do another video on this of a springtime holiday that I went on at the end of March and it was cold and that was to Venice and Rome using a colour theme, using a colour palette. This is what this is all about. It's using a colour palette and getting it right. So um, then you take one lot of makeup and you get it right and you take jewellery and you get it right and it all mix and matches with each other. And I'll show you what I took. Right, I'll start on the daytime outfits. So let's start by going to the airport and whatever I normally go in is what I normally come home in. So I normally have one outfit for going and coming home. Now, I left in July, so it wasn't a cold in England. Um, so it literally was quite mild. And I got to a hot country. I didn't need warm clothes. But I always have an early morning flight. So I leave home about 4 o'clock, so it's quite cold and chilly. But anyway, I always travel in this black dress. It's just a little contrast with pockets. Like that. And it is very, very comfortable. It comes just above my knee because um, I'm only short, I'm only five foot two. But this dress is from H&M, and they're not expensive. I think they still do them now, and I've got about four or five colours in these, and they are the most comfortable dresses ever. Um, so, to be honest, even if you want to wear this on holiday, you've only got to team it up with a bit of jewellery and a lovely pair of sandals, and you can wear that for going out. So I always wear that if I'm going um, from warm to warm. And I always take a trusty denim jacket. And the reason why I like to take a jean jacket is because you find that that actually goes with everything. So um, I find that good for travelling with. So I take a jean jacket and a denim. I take a denim jacket and my dress, and that was for going. So the shoes that I wore were just a pair of little cheap black sandals for going in. I didn't need boots. I didn't need trainers. They, I always make sure if I'm getting on the plane, I don't wear flip-flops. I wear shoes with backs on to keep them securely on my feet. And that was all that I went in. And then I could wear them on holiday as well. Right, so the daytime outfits that I chose. So I've got this 
it's exactly the same as the black dress and it's a little a little lemon and cream stripy cotton dress and this is just if I wanted to go say down the markets or to the shopping centres or something like that I just wanted something a little bit longer not so beachy fied um, didn't necessarily wear it in the evening but you could do I have done before uh, with a lovely little necklace and uh, yeah so I've worn that in the evening um, but yeah that was one of my dresses so that's a daytime outfit that I took and I always take a little black play suit because these this is from H&M as well um, they're not very expensive but it actually looks quite flattering on it I don't know if you can see it's got like a BB but that little play suit is great for like putting on over your swimming costume so I don't normally take a lot of shorts I do prefer dresses um, so I've got one day dress one play suit and these these are the shorts I took I took um, beige pair of shorts these are just like the stretchy ones there these ones were from actually from Tesco's F&F &F. um, they're just lovely you can wear them with everything and going along with the color palette because the color palette that I chose was um, sort of whites peaches and corals um, I know you've got some black in there and I've got some like leopard print so it's all like a tropical type thing so that was the daytime outfit that I chose. Uh, that was the short one of the shorts outfit. The other shorts outfit was this one. So I've got a little cold shoulder top, which is really comfortable, really loose, really nice, and shorts, which once again can go over swimwear. You can have it for your lunchtime meals. You put that on, that's fine. So um, this was my trusty little beach dress. Um, I love this just to throw on if I wanted to walk down the beach or throw on to go over the pool. Um, it's just really comfortable, looks great over a swimming costume and uh, yeah, it's just very, very comfortable. So I take that one beach dress and obviously, so we've got one beach dress, two pair of shorts and two tops, one casual dress and a play suit. Now that is my whole outfit. So I'm just about to show you that there is my whole outfit for the day. That is all I needed for daytime. And that is my dress that I went in. So now I'll take you and show you what I took for the evening. And it, only because this was a little bit more of a nicer hotel. This, I took this as an evening outfit, but if I needed to, I could also wear that during the day. They're like a stretchy cycling shawl and they are really stretchy. So if you wanted to wear them with any top, bearing in mind daytime tops, you could put that and that with that, or the other little vest top that I had. But I actually took a little white top with it, with it as well. And once again, you could wear these with the other shorts as well during the day. So I took them as more of a casual look because I took this little, it's a very thin type of lace jacket. And I wore that and that one evening all together. So the three of them all together for one evening. So that was one evening look that I had. And bearing in mind that jacket also can go over other things. So if I really wanted it to, I could have it go over those. And I could have it go over those together. So if you, you sort of can mix and match your colours. I took one, what I call... Um, nice nicer dress because there was a one specific night specific night where they were doing a gala night um because it was themed on like a cruise ship so you had a gala night one night with we had all flamingo dancers come in but it was really lovely and they'd done it a little bit posher so i i took a one nice dress and that's just like a i don't know if you can see a little frilled lace dress yeah, even if i wanted to <laughs> not that i needed to but if i wanted to i could have teamed it up and put that over the top as well Okay, so I took, for the evening, um, I have got three other dresses. So one of them was this one, and that was quite long. That comes down to me like it's three quarter, so it's not quite maxi, but it's over my knee. So that was, and that's a really stretchy material, and that's just a really comfortable dress. Folds up really small. 
And I took this one, all keeping it along the lines of the same colours. And as I said, I did bring in some leopard print. So that was that one that I took. And that's really nice and thin, lovely and summery and tropical. And yeah, so I was able to wear that one as well. And this was the other one that I wore, which was, this is really comfortable as well. Everything I've got is I've either got elastic waist or really stretch right. clothes that can <laughs> suit all round. Anyway, yeah, so that was the other leopard print one. Right, so that is, so that is all my outfits for the evening. So I ha I've got plenty to choose from now. And I know I said I went away for seven nights, but whatever was the cleanest or whatever I fancied, I wore again. Because let's face it, you probably put them on for a couple of hours after your shower and they go back in your wardrobe. And sometimes they're not even dirty. So I did wear one or two of them twice. The same lines of the colours was the same as what I did with the bikinis. So everything mixed and matched. So I had a white one. So these, that was a, that's a really old faithful. This is a really old faithful, uh, like a tropical one and a black one. Plenty. I probably could have got away with just taking two. So even that, even now, I think I'm still overpacked for that holiday. I'll show you after what what some of it looks like in one packing cube, so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So I'm talk talking about packing cubes. Now, I know you've probably been bored to death with travellers talking about packing cubes, but even if you don't want to backpack and you want to take a big suitcase, invest in packing cubes because they will organise your suitcase. They are a lifesaver. They are brilliant. I absolutely love them and won't, won't travel without them now. I've actually got family onto them and they've said the same thing, that it's just made their whole packing and less mess in their case and they knew exactly where everything was. I always find um, I only like the slim fit ones normally because I can get an awful lot in these. So I've got a few of those and I've also got the other size up which is more of a squarer one which I will show you after what they look like packed. But what I want to say is um, you can buy the bigger packing cubes and you probably think oh I'd need the bigger packing cubes I can't get anything in those. But what I'm trying to say to you is, I found if you bought the bigger packing cubes, nearly your whole lot of clothes, by the time you've rolled them, will be in just one. And then you're not organised because you still don't know where everything is. So with me, I can fit all my bras and underwear in one. I can fit all my daytime outfits in another. And all my nighttime outfits in another. And swimwear and odd bits in another one. So... To be honest with you, like three or four packing cubes and my case is done and I know exactly what's in each. So this time around when I went to the hotel was lovely because I did unpack properly and hang it all up. But a lot of times I might be moving on to different places like every two or three days. So one of these will really organise your luggage. I also take, well, I've had these for years, I also take one of these and it's just a little uh, bag for wet clothing um, if I've got any wet clothing and I'm moving on to another hotel or I'm moving on to a different destination or I'm packing to come home and it's slightly damp and I don't want it touching the other washing um, I will put me in here this is my laundry bag so whilst I'm on holiday I might start filling this up with laundry and then what I do is I will then put transfer the laundry into one packing cube so I know what needs to be washed and colour wise so you can keep your darks, your lights and everything separate so a laundry bag is really handy another, another tip I'd love to give you travelling on one of these pack packing cubes for all my underwear now you can rinse underwear out and I do tend to live in swim costumes throughout, throughout the day so I'll only wear underwear sometimes of an evening. Um, but I don't normally like to show underwear, <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing. But what I will show you is these colours. So that's a, that's a, a bra that can go strapless, the strapless bra as I, probably most of you have got. This is one that's not strapless. It's just a normal bra and then you've got nude coloured knickers and I do sometimes take these which are excuse me fellas shut your ears nipple pads right now these this underwear I can recommend highly that you get just nude 
nude will go with everything the nude color the cream beige whatever you want to call it but i think most places call it nude i found if you take this some people do want to take black or white as well but you'll find if you can take bundles of this you can wear it under everything so you think about it if you've got white and you've got nude color underwear on it goes if you've even got black on and you've got nude color underwear flesh colored skin color underwear it goes and you don't see if you can get the knickers without the um visible panty line which is godsend as well that's what i take too you'll be able to wear it under any of your clothing and it will all look fine so i find the flesh color the nude color underwear is the best to wear under all your travel clothes so if you stick to that color you don't have to buy anything else shoes let's get on to shoes and then i'll get on to bags now shoes i obviously as you saw i mean these ha have had it a little bit because of this type of holiday i will pack different for different holidays i wore the black ones the black ones <laughs> to the airport which i could wear with outfits that i took with me for uh during the day I've got these I took with me, which are an old brown pair of sandals, mainly for during the day with my shorts, like my beige shorts and things like that. So I'd wear those and those. Um, they were just a little leather pair of sandals that I took. Folds flat, really easy. I always take a pair of flip-flops and I normally take just a little plain pair of flip-flops, but because I went to this hotel and it was a nicer environment, I took ones with a little dry like monkeys. Great for around the pool and down the beach because you can wash, can't you, flip flops. So one pair of flip flops, always take a pair of flip flops. And then I took, I hardly wear heels on holiday. I don't even bother taking them anymore. Me and my husband do a lot of walking even of a night. So even if I want to look a bit dressed up, I just took what I call a nice little rose colored gold pair of sandals, all my nice clothing with a pair of those so that was it that was what i took i went in one pair so i packed three and it was all fine all in that suitcase right now i'll show you what i took for bags right so i've done the packing cubes right bags i literally try to take one bag that will go with everything um so i had this one that i bought last year in the south and that was like the orange tropical theme so i took that with me and i found that really nice that went with quite a lot of stuff um because i wanted to take a little bit casual in case i wanted it on during the day um just with like my purse and my bits in and i took a white little bum bag so i took one of those so they were the two bags my main two bags that i took that would go with any of my outfits but while I was out there, I did treat myself, which I don't normally do. We don't buy souvenirs and stuff anymore. Um, except what I started doing was buying one small little bracelet. Not like only them little cheapy ones, like a euro or two euros. So I've got a bracelet from each place that reminds me of that place. But I am in love, and I might have mentioned this before. You might have heard me talk about it before. I'm in love with Diz Eagle. You love the brand. Um, I love their clothing, love their prints, love everything about them. Um... My son actually bought me a Dizegal bag for Christmas, which was lovely, because he had it. It was a special present, it was lovely. But I don't know if you can see that, that's how you spell it. I don't know if it's backwards. Can you see that? Dizegal. And I bought this bag while I was away, because there was a sale on, and we walked past the shop, and I treated myself to this bag. So I did have that one while I was away. So normally, them two bags would have been enough, because I had one bum bag and one evening bag. And then all the the other thing that I do take, which you can get, and these are in decathlon, and I've got about two or three of them. That's so handy for holidays. Sticking with colour themes again. Um, I don't know if you can see. Was this little? What I would use for my swimming costume, my little beach bag. I very rarely take a proper beach bag that fold up goes on my back so I could still wear that and then put all my valuables in my bum bag at the front so that was plenty because with my swimming costume 
because I was going to a hotel, I knew they had towels for us for bathing in the bathroom. But normally, if I'm self-catering or Airbnb, I would take two of these. I'll have one for the beach and one for indoors. And they're hammers or Turkish towels or I can't remember think of the other name they call them this is quite a thick material you've got to buy a quality one um but i have a couple of these we've we've all been using them and they wash and wear and you can put them on the sand and they don't stick like a towel and they're not heavy they dry really quickly um and you can wash these out really easily and because they dry very quickly you, you can wash them quite often um, so I just take those so I never take a towel on holiday with me that just rolls up it's lightweight and you can even use them on the aeroplanes so that will go in there so literally my so literally I'll put my towel in there I'll have my swimming costume I'll have, I'll have all my, like, my factors and my sunglasses talking of which I normally only take one pair of sunglasses um, yeah, so that will be my backpack. And I'll show you how it folds up, because it folds up really small. So you've got a little pocket. I've bought a few of these for the family, they love them. So that is what it folds into. It folds into, and it's a 10 litre, folds into that little bag. And if you are in the UK, um, there's a few decathlons about. I'm not sure if they do it online as well. Um, I know they've got them in France as well. I actually bought something in Decathlon in France but as you can see look and that will fit nicely into my suitcase but what I sometimes do is I will undo it see that's that's the little bag that is it that's my backpack that I use during the day sometimes to travel with I'll undo this bag and I'll put my shoes in it um, so it doesn't touch my clothing so that's another tip as well Right, so that's that's my clothing on the rail and I'm going to show you it folded in a minute and accessories up there. I took those as a bit of an added extra and that was to go with that was to go with my dress just to be a bit more tropical on holiday. But I don't normally do that. I will normally stick to like gold earrings, which is a pair of those and a pair of those. I find these really diverse and handy that you can just take them in gold, them in silver and you're done for the evening. I normally take just a couple of little beaded bracelets. This is the boat bracelet. I treated myself literally one euro, <laughs> but that reminds me of Grand Canaria. And a couple of little necklaces. That's the jewellery done. I took one pair of sunnies, sunglasses that went with everything. And it's a bit dirty, sorry, it's a bit grubby, it needs a wash. But I took one hat just in case. A really thin, lightweight hat, which I got in Cuba. Um, and that was just to wear in case I needed it. So that's the shoes again and the backpack. Now what it's like to put some some of these items in a packing cube and put them into my suitcase and show you that it just doesn't take up a lot of room. And another time I will do another video separate which will be on um, toiletries and essentials and things like that that I take and how I downsized on that as, as well. So um, it's caused me so much less stress not having to take too much. It really does change your whole mind and, and the way you look at things and how much easier it makes your life. So I will um, show you now how I pack these in a packing cube. Right, so this is literally my clothes packed in the packing cubes and all I've got left on the rail is the outfit that I'd be travelling in. Um, I would normally have one other because I've packed my beach and a tiny bit of underwear in the end. Normally I'd have the beach in one, underwear in the other. So I would have four packing cubes for this, but I'll literally show you what three looks like. So that's all the daytime outfits in there and the nighttime outfits in there, as you can see, all the dresses. And they compress down. This is the three packing cubes in there and I've still got loads of room, which I would fit my shoes, my bags and um just trying to think what else i'd need just the accessories and toiletries and they would all fit in there because look i've only filled half of that side up so it would literally be fine absolutely fine so that gives you an idea of how compressed the packing cubes make it and it is really worth it and it keeps it organized 
There you go, that's the colour scheme that I went for for a week's holiday in Grand Canary and there's plenty of stuff there. I probably, I think I probably still bought something at home that was clean that I never wore. So, um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that video on um, colour palette for uh, going away to a really hot country. And um, if you do, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. And if you press the subscribe button just down there, that would really help. And um, yeah, leave a comment. Or if you want to know any questions, I'm happy to answer any questions. I'm happy to share any information I can. Or if you've got any good tips for me, that would be really good. See you all soon. Um, I will be making some more of these if you like them. I'll see you all later. Bye.